Lego, you Lego, you just cannot stop in video games anymore. I mean, I, I had fun with Lego games. Uh, Marvel and Star Wars are probably the best, and probably even DC um, Batman games. To those three are probably the best versions of um, Lego games that I think the most of us play. So let me take a look at this, and I'll give my thoughts. I already have some concerns about it, but we'll, we'll talk about that afterwards. Okay, let's watch. I have seen it before. Now that is new. Um, it's cute. I, I, I can see this definitely for the market for kids. Two incredible films, one incredible game. There's a reason why they're doing it. I can see why they're doing it. The Incredibles. I still think there's going to be an issue with um, filling up a character roster for this. I, like I said, I can name 10 characters, possibly. And that includes Incredibles 2. I mean, we haven't seen that movie yet. Um, but like I said, they showed seven of the characters. You know, you had Dash, Violet, uh, Mr. Incredible, uh, Laster Girl, Jack Jack, uh, Edna, Edna. And then Frozone, and that's seven characters right there. And if you add Syndrome to it, that's even that's eight. So I'm I'm counting eight major characters um, to the franchise. The only thing I think they could do is that they added the superheroes that were killed off in the Incredibles. Uh, but then again, that you know that's a lot of characters. But who knows what they could do for that? Um, as you see, it's out for all three platforms, and it's coming out June fifteenth. 2018 so about two months away not too long to hang out right around e3 time which i'm super excited about but let me know what you guys down below think about the incredibles the the lego game are you guys excited for it are you guys not really interested in it and uh, as always subscribe to my channel for even more